Hello friends, welcome back to another video. It is Monday afternoon, I finished work, went home, had something to eat, got changed, and now I'm back at the shops. Well, I wasn't here before. I am at the shops. Because I'm doing some Christmas shopping. So I'm gonna go to Kmart. If you've followed me for a long time, you may have already heard me talk about what I'm about to talk about, so feel free to skip the explanation part. But for those who haven't seen it, we'll probably be quite confused. To give the quickest rundown that I possibly can, my church is a Church of Christ and that organization also is in charge of like a foster care thing. They look after a lot of foster kids and every year they invite the church members to buy presents for foster kids who may not have as big of a Christmas as some other people. It's basically just an opportunity for us to be able to bless our community and bless the kids who may need it a little bit more and the families who may need it a little bit more and I love doing this every single year so I have five kids this year I started off with three and then yesterday when I was at church there were still a bunch of kids who like needed a Christmas present like they hadn't been chosen yet so I picked up another two so yeah we have five gifts to shop for today basically what happens is you get this little slip of paper and it gives you their gender their age and something that they would like so this one is a female who is three years old and she wants a book so that is what she has asked for I'll quickly tell you what the rest of them are so we know what we're looking for I've also got a three-year-old male who wants wants a truck toy. We have a 14 year old female who wants anything arty or a diamond art thing, which that would be fun. We have a one year old boy who wants a stuffed teddy or a light up toy. That's cute. And finally, we have a 16 year old male who would like either a book, a puzzle or a journal. So I'm gonna go into Kmart. They do give you a price limit because they all open them when they're all together at this big Christmas party and you don't want like one kid to get an $100 gift while another one gets a $5 gift. And so to keep everything fair, even they give you like a price range to stick in so I'm gonna be doing that I also have to pick up a couple random stocking stuffers and things but yeah let's go shopping <laughs> Starting off in the toy section, probably most of the stuff I need to get is in the toy section. So let's start maybe with the truck toy. How old is he? Three? This looks like a very good option. It's just randomly by itself. Okay, what's next? One year old stuffed teddy or light up toy. That could be cute. Stuffed toys. Here's what we want. That's kind of cute. Oh, and it changes. That's fun. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we could do a cow. That's cute. Or well, this guy. We're in the book section. There are so many. So many. I'm trying to pick out a puzzle. It's for a 16 year old, so I feel like it can be a little bit more difficult. I feel like these ones look so fun, like the Where's Wally ones. But then I also really like these ones. That one looks really fun too. We need something arty for a 14 year old. They said diamond dots and I know Kmart has them somewhere. I just don't know where. They have some pretty cool stuff though. What is that? I have no idea. These are so cute. Little hand towels. I don't think I need to buy any Christmas like decorations. This is really cool though. It's a candle. I don't know, is this something you actually burn? Because wouldn't it look a bit tragic? Okay, we need to do a bit of a recap. It is so busy in here. I've tried to find like the only free space. I think I'm almost done. I still haven't found like a diamond dots type of thing but I think that's the last gift I need to get. And I was so sure that Kmart sold those, but I haven't been able to find one. I might do one more lap and see if I can find it, but maybe it's just not here. But I think I've got something for everything else, which is great. The cart is getting full. I'll show you everything when I get home though. Okay, haul time. I'll show you what I picked up for each of these kiddos. Almost everything that I'm about to show you is from Kmart, but I'll tell you if it's not. We had a three-year-old boy who wanted either a truck or a toy to push around. So this is what I got for him. I feel like that kind of ticks both boxes, which is quite ideal. I think that looks fun for a three-year-old, I hope. Next up, we had a little girl who was three years old who asked for books. So I got these three books. The first one says grateful, and it's just all about being grateful, which I think is so cute and such a great thing 
to teach a child from a young age because if you didn't know there are multiple psychological studies that show that gratitude leads to joy and it's one of the only things they've been able to link to joy in those studies so practice that gratitude guys the next one is called the polar bear in Sydney Harbour and I just really love the illustrations in this one they were also like colorful and bright and I feel like a three-year-old would have so much fun flicking through this either on their own or with, you know, someone reading it to them. The colors just looked really fun. And the last one I have is Say Please Little Bear. And I'm assuming it teaches just like manners and stuff, but it's just really cute. She asked for books, I got her books. Next up, we had a little boy who was one year old and asked for a stuffed toy or a light up toy. So I got him this little dragon. I just think this is super cute. And I can just imagine a one-year-old pulling this out of the bag and being so excited. I hope at least, we'll see. But I just think it's got really cool like tie-dye patterns and it's just, it just looks fun. Then we had a 16-year-old boy who wanted either a journal, book, or puzzle. First of all, I ended up getting this puzzle. It's a 500-piece puzzle and it just looks, I don't know, kind of fun. I don't really know how to shop for 16-year-olds, so I hope that they like this. And I was also in like the Kris Kringle section and they had this little pizza puzzle. It's only 182 pieces, but it's like a layered puzzle. So it has like multiple layers to it. And um, it's in a pizza box. And I thought that was kind of fun. So I just kind of impulse bought that one. And lastly, he did ask for a journal. So I got this one. I was trying to figure out what a 16 year old guy would want in terms of a journal, like what aesthetic they were really going for. And this is the closest I could come to. I hope he enjoys this. It's just like a brown faux leather little clip that opens up into lined pages, but I don't know, it looks really nice. And lastly, we had a 14 year old girl who wanted diamond art or anything arty. I did look for diamond art, but I couldn't find any in Kmart. And then I went to a few other stores as well. And the only ones I could find were literally $40. And I was like, I'm not allowed to spend that much. So I tried to go a different route. I ended up getting these two things from a little craft store. So I got just a little plain canvas and also some pouring paint. I just thought this looked really, really fun. Like a really fun activity to do if you enjoy doing arty things. If you guys haven't seen pouring paint, it looks incredible. I haven't tried it. I actually have a little kit for myself upstairs that I haven't used yet, but it looks really fun. So I'm hoping that a 14 year old girl would like this, but I don't really know. It's hard to tell when you don't really know the person. You kind of just have to go based on the clues that they give you. I'll also show you the bags that I'm putting it in because Kmart had some really great bag options this year. So maybe you guys could get some inspo. I think these were all around $1.50 or like $2 something as well. But I got this big one. This is for the truck. So that one's really cute. Got little Santas and candy canes and reindeers and all sorts of stuff all over it. Then there's this one, which is such beautiful colors. It's got like native Australian flora and fauna all over it. And it says Christmas wishes. Then we just have a classic like brown and metallic red kind of vibe going there. And we also have this one with surfing Santas on it. So can't go wrong with the surfing Santa. And the last bag that I got was actually from Woolworths because I purchased it after I'd already left Kmart. But after I'd purchased like the pouring paint stuff. But I got this one. So those are all the bags that I got. They request that you put them in bags because they have to check to make sure that all of the gifts that are given to these foster kids are appropriate and safe for them. So they just ask that you put them in bags so they can check them really easily. That is everything that I have to show you guys. I thought that was really fun just to show you guys going Christmas shopping and you guys could come along with me. I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys, but I'm gonna go and I'll talk to you guys really soon. If you couldn't already tell, it's December 1st. And you know what? I have something very exciting. Georgia bought me an advent calendar. This is the first advent calendar I've had in my entire life. I don't think you guys understand. My entire life, I've never had an advent calendar and I'm so excited. So actually, I might just open it now because I feel like this is a good time. Feels right. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Just kidding, I'm not doing vlogmas. Oh, they really made it easy and I... <laughs> All right, here we go. To be completely honest, I'm not sure if we're supposed to start from the 24 and count down or if we're supposed to start from the one, but I think I'm just gonna start with the one. That sounds right to me. This is the quality content <laughs> you've been wanting. Oh, nice. 
I don't know how to do this. I'm inexperienced. Ah! Oh, it's a sleigh! Nice. It's officially December. Put your Christmas tree up. Oh, only because you said so. Here we go. Yum! So it's December 1st, and that means it's finally time to put up our Christmas tree because Georgia would not let me put it up until it was December 1st. So we're here. We're going to crank out the Christmas tunes. We're going to put up all of our decorations that we already have. If you want to see a full decorating vlog, head over to Georgia's channel. I'll link it down below. And if the vlog's already up, I'll link that down below as well. She's doing Vlogmas. Kind of. I mean, it's no else it's summer. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it'll do. Anyway, so I'm going to give you a before and after, but if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to achieve busy household decorations check out her channel all right here's your before vlog by showing you some little Christmassy things. My mom started doing this thing a few years ago. I don't really remember why it necessarily started or how it necessarily started, but, but she started giving me a little box full of little small gifts, like just little random bits and pieces, like a shower cap or a Christmas ornament or something small, but fun. I think like last year I got like salad tosses and stuff like that. But I would get to open one of those gifts every day leading up for Christmas for like the week before Christmas or 10 days before Christmas, whatever. I think it changes a little bit every year. But I loved it so much that the following year I did that for her. So I did like 12 days of Christmas where I'd give her a little gift each day for 12 days leading up for Christmas. And we've kind of just done that every year since. And then last year Liam doesn't love presents and we honestly don't really do huge presents. So I thought I would just give him a stocking full of little things and he really enjoyed that so I'm doing it again this year and last year I gave Georgia a stocking or I hung up a stocking in our house at our old house and each day I would put a little gift in it so kind of like a version of the advent thing that my mom does for me this year I decided that I would just let Georgia open everything in her stocking on Christmas Day or whenever she opens the rest of her presents and same with Liam he can just open everything in his stocking on the on Christmas or whatever but for my mom I'll still do the advent the only problem I've come to is this is a little box of my mom's gifts that I've got so far and this is a stocking and there's like no way they're gonna fit. So I don't really know how that's gonna work. Also, one of Liam's presents literally doesn't fit in his stocking. George's like barely fits. So I kind of didn't think that through very well this year, but I've just sat and wrapped a bunch more. I'm sitting in my wardrobe right now. So yeah, these ones are my mum's ones. We've got Liam's and George's. I'm watching Sophie's Vlogmas, but I think I might just pop them in a bag instead so that I can actually fit them. And maybe I'll just I don't know, do half the gifts at a time in her stocking. I don't really know how it's going to work, but yeah. But I feel like this is the first year that I've actually been organized for Christmas shopping. I think I only have to go out and get like one or two more things and then my entire Christmas shopping is done. It's not just these ones, but I'm really happy that I'm organized because I've got a crazy month this month and I didn't want to have to be thinking about that like the week before Christmas. But yeah, that's what I'm doing for Christmas this year. Maybe you want to use this idea for your friend or for your mom or for your partner. I don't really know. It's so fun having like a little small gift to open each day, even if it's something like a chocolate or a candle or something just really small. It's just really fun. So yeah, I am going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Christmassy vlog and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Goodbye.